Hi, if you are a teacher, you might be using word art like this to create your title slides. For example, here is a title slide to introduce a subject like say geometry or history. While word art is an interesting option to spruce up your text like this, there are not many options available in word art. For example, if I want to insert a word art, I can go to insert word art and these are the maximum number of options I have for word art. I may have to settle for one of these designs which are quite professional but are not exciting enough to arrest the attention of small children. So do I have an option as a teacher to use more word art styles so I can create my title slides that look like this. Can you see here? This looks exciting. This looks exciting and this looks exciting. Is there a way that I can use styles like this free of cost so I can create my title slides to bring in some excitement into the class. Yes, there are certain options available and I want to show you what they are. When I made a quick search in Google, I came across two sites. One is textfx.co and the other one is cooltext.com. Right away, let me make a disclaimer here. This is not a sponsored video. I have no idea about these two sites. The only thing that I found is these effects are quite interesting. They are of reasonably high resolution so that I can use them on my slide title and I don't really have to sign up, log in or any of that nonsense so I can get my effects with minimum fuss. Let us first go to textfx.co. Let us say I want to write about a subject here, maybe say zoology or whatever. Then I can choose my font here whatever font that works well with the subject. Maybe in this case, I can go with something like this. I'm just choosing this at random. You can choose any text font color as well. Now you can choose the style that you want from these options. For example, let us say I want to have something shiny. I can go to shiny and here are some options available for me to use as shiny text. Let me choose this. Here you can see examples and here you can apply the effect. So let me click on apply effect and it'll take a little bit of time. So the text that you have chosen is given the effect that you have chosen. Now here is zoology in all its glory. Now you have an option to use any of these backgrounds. For example, when I choose this background, you can see that the background is applied instantaneously and you can download this with the background. What I personally prefer is this option called standard quality transparent. Now this is the one handy feature that separates this site from the other similar sites. A lot of sites give you these kind of text effects but they allow you to download with the background. Here you can download with transparency and that is always good. As you can see here I have not signed up, I have not given any of my information so I can get my effect without any problem. Now. Once I have got that downloaded, I can go to show in folder and this is the option. I can go to copy and then go to slide and I can paste it and you can see that it looks quite nice. I can always change my background to a darker color and here is my beautiful title slide. Another option we have is cooltext.com. This again is a site that doesn't require you to log in or anything and you will get your download quite nicely at a decent resolution. Now let us say I want to have the same zoology title slide made. Let me go to cool text icon and then let me choose one of the effects here. The one that I like is this one called Tesla. So let us go with that and let us change this to say zoology. I can choose my text size. In this case, if I want say a font of 250, I can enter that and I can hit enter. You can see it's fairly big and it is doing the processing. I can say create logo and that will take me to the next page. Here I can see the end effect. I can go to download and instantly it is downloaded here. Once again, let me go here, go to show in folder, copy and then go back to my PowerPoint. Let me remove this. Let me paste the new one. You can see here, it looks like a sci-fi zoology class. By the way, if you're a teacher, you would find this video called Convert Boring Slide to Interactive Quiz Game in PowerPoint to be quite useful. I've given step-by-step -step instructions to help you create interactive quiz game that can really engage your students. I will leave a link to this useful video in the description box below the video. You can watch this video next and make your classes more exciting. I'll see you in the next video.
In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.